was a lot of fun to make. Uh, people that I know real well and care for deeply. It was fun making it with, with um, females that I got to watch their careers grow from when they landed to, to where it is now. Hi, I'm, I'm Jacqueline Lopez. I'm from McAllen, Texas, and I came over here to be an actress. And know that they didn't have to deal with this individual. Hi, my name is Lulu Rose. I'm originally from Poland. I've been uh, living in Los Angeles for uh, over five years, and I came here uh, to be an actress and a singer. Well, it was actually inspired by a young actress that I um, was working with that had run into this terrible individual. Since I've come to LA, I've been a coach for, for kids. I've actually was a server here at Hard Rock Cafe on Hollywood Boulevard, and now I nanny. Literally meet the young Hollywood scarlets coming in here at the bus. I work as a waitress at the hookah lounge. I work as a camp counselor. I work as a hostess at the Hard Rock Cafe. I work as a nanny. I work as a personal assistant. That was the rough one. And uh, then I work at the hotel as a receptionist. I work as a background actor. Who doesn't? And tell me had this great script and all this stuff, but they had to that the the script had a lot of sexual content. And he was definitely a method actor and wanted to make sure they could do the method acting. Um, my dad was like, no, 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 sports only. Don't do acting. You don't have time for that. And what I did was I ended up choosing a college where there was a lot of filming going on in Louisiana. So that was my like, foot in the door. And I started off as background and I would always work my way up to working career as a production assistant. And it was there that I built up the resume that allowed me to be a second assistant director on a, on a like horror project in Dallas, which led me to be a director. Um, I actually started with music. Music was like my uh, first thing, and that's what I trained. I'm a trained singer. And when I came to LA, I met some good people, and I started taking acting classes, and that's how my journey started. And I feel like um, acting classes are like the best thing ever because <laughs> they make you uh, they make you comfortable, and it's so much easier to go for auditions now. She was a victim. She wrote a script about it and, and was going to film it, and and the book, the, the song was written originally for that movie. You definitely need to make some friends because connections are everything in this city, but you have to be very careful. I mean, like we all got burned one way or another. You meet people that promise you that they will help you and they will make you a stars, and sometimes it ends really bad. Sometimes it's just waste of your time. I, uh, luckily, I only waste my time. I didn't have anything bad happening to me, but I definitely have met a lot of people that promised me the whole new world and all kind of TV shows and record deals and things, and that just never happened. And that's the navigation of what it's like to be in Hollywood, even for those of us who've been here many years. I wanted to show that, and the two actresses that we used have had this experience themselves of who do you trust and how do you know and the mistakes that you make. However, there are times where um, I did get taken advantage of, that's, that's for sure. But someone who was able to fake a good resume and I, you know, you, you, want it des you want desperately to be true. You want it to be like, oh yes, yeah, so this is finally the end. Um, and so I had a, a modeling agent uh, speak to me through Skype, and it was just didn't exactly go well. Um, definitely made her <laughs> kind of a major lie there, and it was it was rough. But then you start learning, you start like you have to make sure that they have those credentials. You have to do your research before thoroughly um, because a lot of that can be fake. And then it was it's been rough, but luckily because I had some people already here, I would call and ask questions, and and they did help me. I have five daughters, I have five sisters, and I have a mom. And all of them, anybody can be victimized, but women are also very, very powerful, and they figure it out. 
My family first definitely did not understand it. I'm from Poland, so this is not like a normal thing. You want to come to LA and you want to act, you want to do music. So they definitely did not understand. But after me being here for two years, they realized I'm not coming back. And now they are like, if you're going to make it, it's going to be there. It wouldn't be in Poland. So they support it in the best way they can. I'm going to photobomb just long enough to say that this is not only a great actress, but a U.S. citizen, too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> They're very strong. All of my family, have, women are some of the strongest examples of my life. We ran all over Hollywood getting iconic um, bits and including what it's really like to be here. Because the song isn't just about the glamour of Hollywood, it's about its hypocrisy and its pitfalls. And while it sounds like a happy tune, there is an undercurrent of who do you trust and can you trust people who offer to help you. A lot of times you think, oh my gosh, I'm meeting so-and-so, my career's made. Oh my gosh, I'm doing this movie, my career's made. And the truth is, Oh my gosh, it's not. Prayers are made roll to roll, minute by minute. When I walk down, I see the names of the people that I grew up watching, grew up imitating. Those were my acting classes, and it just it makes me want to hustle, makes me want to be where they're at. Sometimes you, <laughs> you, it, it, it seems so surreal that you're here, you know? And. You know, I, we, I mean, we walked by um, Jacqueline Smith, who I'm named after, so seeing her name and then knowing that my name is exactly really spelled the same way, I just, I love picturing, you know, taking out that Smith and just putting my last name, Lopez, on it, and it's just, I, I mean, you just got to hustle, and I'm, I'm going to be there, I'm going to have a star on the of fame. I included shots of homeless people, of what it's like to be poor in Hollywood. In, along with the Beverly Hills and the Hollywood stars and the uh, wealth and the glamour of Hollywood, there is also the reality of a big city life that is hard for many people to navigate. Yeah, I'm a new girl that comes straight out of the bus with the guitar on her back. I was that new girl. Like, I was 100% that girl that comes in. Like, LA and Hollywood's always been my dream. And being from Poland, our vision of things are a little bit different than the reality. So when I first came, I definitely had all those big dreams and I thought I'm gonna be this, the one that's gonna get discovered, waitressing at the restaurant, and the whole thing is gonna change. So I know how it feels to just be full of dreams and then you see all the things and things that you've seen on TV and now you see it in real life. So you're just so happy and excited. We tried to be careful not to make uh, Tom, as the singer and the voice of the song, to be too slimeball. We didn't want to make him too creepy. But there is an edge of a young talent arriving in a strange town where appearances are everything. And many people will come to exploit and use that talent, and there are others who will mentor it, and it's hard to tell the difference. That's why I made her actually wind up on top. She winds up beating him out. And in, in the verse where he says, "You're now you got your name in lights and you're a star, but somehow you managed to forget my name. And I like that. Definitely go for it. Always follow your dream and never give up. Because you're gonna hear like a thousand times no, and at certain point you're so used to rejection that when somebody says yes, you're like, wait, what? Wait a minute, like you like it? But I honestly, I would just say go for it because it's better to regret things you've done than things you've never done in your life. So just go for it and be confident yeah, and have fun. That's true. He had no IMDb credits. He had never produced anything, never done anything, and on just Words alone, he was able to convince uh, people coming off the bus, you know, just landing here in Hollywood, that he could help them. Do not be afraid. Be careful. You have to be careful because to this day, I mean, anyone can just use you and just get what they, what they want, what they need. Um, but ultimately, go out there, dreams. I can't stop you from saying, like, 
from keeping you being out here. I mean, you you learn it, you know. It's, it's better to like have have come out here and, and not and not do it and regret it the rest of your life. Um, keep pushing, keep pushing. I mean, Tom is like a great example. People didn't really believe in them with music, and then I mean, he's just doing a phenomenal job. Nothing's gonna stop him. I'm excited and looking forward to having the video go out on uh, YouTube and all over. I'm really excited about the release party for the video on uh, July 15th. Keep pushing, not stop. I'm real excited for the release of this music video on July 15th and hope to all see you there. Be on our Facebook page and everything like that. You will have to RSVP, but hope to see you all there.